Good morning from Glamis Dunes. It's uh, not really doing any dune activity today. We just, it was on the way and I know of it and it's a nice, easy, wide open free camping spot. It's not as popular today because it's now the middle of Christmas break. So plenty of space, really beautiful. I like, I like camping out in the dunes. I really gotta go back to Dumont at some point. That place was wicked. So nearby on the way out is the Five Palms Hot Spring and we'll be hitting that up as well. So uh, yeah, we got a camping spot, place to little wash up a little bit and uh, enjoy some desert life. Back in California. lesson about rough roads. I'm in California now, but now I'm down one of the roughest sand roads I've ever been down. Okay, maybe I might just park it here and walk the rest. It's still two kilometers and I don't want to get stuck. I don't know for sure if we would have got down all the way or not, but uh, I decided to take the safe route and just stop halfway down the dirt road and we're gonna walk the rest of the halfway to the hot springs. So we'll have to pack up a bag, which is a bit annoying, but not as annoying as having to dig your van out of another sinkhole. So probably be a lot more expensive here in America too. <laughs> so let's just do this. All right, so we just pulled off on the wrong road. This road is called White Rock or Whit Rock. And uh, it's a lot clearer, a lot smoother, well, better taken care of than the other road we were on. So we totally could have driven down this road the whole way. Oh well, lesson learned for next time. This is the road you want. Feels like an oasis all of a sudden. Oh my god. Welcome to the Five Spring, the Five Palms Hot Spring.
So this this hot spring is gorgeous. It's not that hot, but like it totally makes up for it for just the atmosphere. It is fantastic. Little frogs all around. It's just so nice. And it's totally an oasis in the desert. Now the story behind this place is actually kind of interesting. There was a cold spring here back in World War II and they used this as a training ground for the African conflicts. So they were doing uh, tank training in the area. They had a lot of soldiers here. They needed uh, a hot source of water and they knew that if they dug down deep enough, they'd get it. So some Colonel, I don't remember his name, dug down and voila, we have a hot spring. Now it used to be a lot warmer and then some tectonic movements about 10 years ago, cooled it right down, but it is taken care of. Um, there's some locals here that come in and like clean up the place and there's little benches set out. It is just, it's so nice. and. Uh, We'll do our best to keep it clean here, and uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the road. But what a pick me up, man! This is awesome. Hola, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. Sarah. Riverside now. My buddy Sam is hooking me up with some tires. New tires for the van. End of an era. These tires, I bought them when I got on the van. Now I'm getting them off. My almost new tires. And some almost new tires. Not quite new, but uh, the price difference is significant. And on my budget, that makes a big difference. What? That's it, new set of uninteresting Michelin tires. They get me by. This is not an overlanding rig. This is not an off-roading rig. This is just a cheap rig. Tio's, this is uh, Sam's favorite little Mexican spot here in Riverside, California, and I can see why this place is interesting. Look at this.
crazy. Again, and this time Kat's here. Hi yeah, Kat. Hi. And we're hanging out and having amazing, more amazing Mexican food because when you're Canadian you just can't get enough. What? What? Sarah's still here. <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Oh, oh that's called Camarino. That was amazing. I'm so full. So bloated. Thanks, Sam. Oh my pleasure, man. You know all the best places. <laughs> I don't know.